Okay, you're watching this video, probably you already have the, the permission to get CPASS access. Now, if you still don't know what is CPASS, I already put the, 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 the link to other videos that I have uh, that explain to you what is CPASS or collaborative ads, uh, and basically how do we apply for CPASS and collaborative ads for Shopee and Lazada in the, in the, in the what do we call, in the description below. Now, if you already get the kind of like a permission to, 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 to get the CPASS access, the next thing that you need to do is basically uh, what Lazada and Shopee will do is they will request for your Facebook business manager ID and Facebook ad account ID. So basically this is how we get there. Now, uh, first thing first, let me show you how to get business manager. Now, for those who are not familiar, you really need to start by going into this screen. All you need to do is you go to business.facebook.com Okay, and then you need to walk through by click, clicking this create account and walk through the whole steps of creating a business manager. And you need to do three things. First thing, you need to link your Facebook page. You need to link your Facebook ad account or create a new one. And the third thing is you need to add your people as in like your admin into your business manager account. So these are the few things that you need to do. Now, basically business manager is a very extensive thing. And at the moment, I'm actually planning to create a so-called course for that. If it's already created, you can actually find it in the link in the in the description. In the I mean the link in the description below. But if it's not, then probably you need to go through a little bit and navigate yourself. If there's any questions, you can always post back to me. Now, once you have created the account, basically, you know, you'll be able to come into your business settings like this. Now, this is my business settings. Two things that you need to provide to Lazada or Shopee in order to get your CPAS access. First is your business manager ID. Now, how do we get your business manager ID? Very simple. You scroll all the way down, okay? Remember, wherever you go, right, the nine dots is your best friend. So you go to nine dots and look for business settings. Okay, now when you're here, go scroll all the way on the left sidebar, come down to business info, okay? I'm at uh, business info. So this is your business manager ID. So this is your business manager ID. So this is the first thing. Now, the second thing that you need to get is your ad account ID. So ad account is very simple. You go to on the left sidebar, go to ad account. So you just go for anything, look for that particular ad account. And this is the ad account ID. You know, you just need to go for either which and every one of the ad account that you have. So that is the ad account ID that you need to, need to provide to Lazada or Shopee in order for them to link the whole thing to you. Okay, so this is how you actually link um, the whole thing to get your CPASS access. Congratulations for getting your CPASS access. Uh, the new world, a new whole new world lays ahead of you that you can do a lot more things with Facebook advertising to bring more meaningful results to your Shopee or Lazada store. So uh, you can find the link below. We actually have a very extensive resources. I even have a course to teach you how to use CPASS for Shopee or Lazada store. So basically, you can all find everything in the comment below. And if you have any questions, feel free to post in the comment. I'll see you in the next video.